There it is. He just showed up. Share that with you. Look at that. Welcome back to the Outdoor Wilderness Wildlife Adventures and I'm your host Heike Lou and this is Lone Wolf Scouting Fatwood Haunted Adventures. I had changed the name folks because every time I come out in these woods there's always something that I'm seeing in the background of my videos and those are apparitions, spirits, anomalies, whatever you want to call them, there's something out there. So I had to rename this Lone Wolf Scouting Fatwood Haunted Adventures. So that's what's going to be titled from now on and I'm going to take you on another little hike out, out here. I want to show you some of the dead trees from my previous video that I told you that was completely rotted out. I want to show you that as proof. So what I also have right behind me, this is a uh, cut, a cut piece of wood. This is like a small little log and what I want to do, I have my auger. It's a, a, a tool that you could actually use to uh, drill by hand make holes into wood and what I want to do is demonstrate how you make a, a rocket stove so what I want to do is go back in this patch of woods that I was last at in my last video and what I discovered on the way out was a dead completely rotted pine log or pine tree it was a skeleton it was the remains of a pine tree that once lived a long time ago and all that's left are the uh, knots and the core which I call the bloodline of the tree that's all that's left I saw that on the way out of my last video I have no idea how I missed that on the way in but it was right there apparently it was right in front of me I just probably wasn't looking but on the way out I found it so that's going to be the topic of this uh, video I want to show you what it looks like and the different parts of the tree that you could harvest from. And I'm also going to show you the, the dead pine trees that I had told you that was completely rotted off. I'm going to take a branch and just pull it off my hand to show you there's nothing there. Okay, folks, here we are. Here's that little piece of wood I have here. It's going to be a perfect example of drilling a hole from the top and one through the side to make it what's called a rocket stove. And this is going to be a perfect example of a piece of wood that has been cut already. Now I'm going to, I'm going to stop from where I left off on my last video. Now this is one of the knots from this dead fallen pine tree. I just pulled it right off. But I want to show you, I want to show you the rest of the tree. So let's take a look real quick. This is what I found on the way out. This is a very old tree. As you can see by this, this is the core. It wasn't a big tree, but this is the core right here. That's the core, the bloodline of the tree. And these are the knots are coming from the core. And this, another one, and this is part of a branch. Okay, and look, you can see right here, I'm pulling this up to show you how old this is, but look how beautiful these knots are. Put this in the shade here, you can see it better. Look at those knots. And I'm gonna harvest just a couple of these. And you can see all the way down, and all the way to the top. I don't know if this is the top or the bottom of the tree, but you can see these comes right off. I just pulled that right off. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. And this is all buried. This is all buried. And I'm going to just unearth it a little bit so we can see. I'll show you the gold that's hidden under the ground. Look at that. That's part of the tree right there. That's it. And these are the little knots. And this tree died a long time ago. I don't think it was a very big tree. Depending on the size of the, uh, the stem. This, this stem. Depending on the size of the stem kind of gives you an idea how big the tree was when it was alive. Now here's a nice knot. That's a nice one right there. I'm going to harvest that one. Let me just keep going down the line. You see the rest of these knots. This is just a place that I know where I can find fat wood anytime I need it. This is something nice here. 
this is really nice right here. Look at that. Look at those knots. I'm not taking all this with me, folks. But just to show you, when you find something, you can leave it there. Rest assured, it's not going to rot anytime soon. Look at that. How beautiful these knots are. Okay, welcome back. And what I have here is a really nice looking knot. It doesn't have a lot of weight to it, so what I want to do is cut into it and see if it's worth taking. I'm not going to take a lot today. I do have about three knots. That's about it's going to be enough for my harvest today. And what I want to do, I want to see. And I also want to show you this. Look, this is part of a wing system right here. That's part of a wing. And I'm going to look into that. Right here, this whole thing right here. Oh, that's a wing system. From the, I believe that's part of the uh, bottom of the tree. Who knows? Nope, could be the top. Okay, this is what I have here. Part of the wing system. Look how nice that is. Okay, and it's very light. So this has been laying here a very long time. And I'm going to cut right into it right now. See what we've got. I believe we do have some really nice fat wood here. Look at that. That's really nice. Take the sun off that. The glare. Right there. There we are. That is one nice piece of fatwood here. So what I'm going to do is go, I'm going to cut right here because it looks hollow. I don't want to take unnecessary wood with me that I don't need. Yep, like I said, you see, you always want to check it. And you don't want to bring bugs with you too. There are a lot of bugs in this stuff here. I'm going to cut down just a little more. just about it's still fat work but look you got these holes in there it's been eaten out look at that that's a nice piece of fat wood what I want to do I'm going to get the I'm gonna get my axe cut into this a little bit okay stay with me be right back Okay folks, we're back and I want to show you, I'll give you an example of a dead, rotted out pine tree. I believe a lot of it could be used for punk wood uh, to, to make charred material from. I'm going to show you an example. Here we are, and we have a perfect example of a knot that's completely rotted out. And you can see here, this is soft. And this is like sponging, could be used as... Uh, you could use to make charred material from this. This is very spongy and it's punk wood. This is all this you can see, watch. This one right here. Look at the way. And we have some critters in there, but just to show you, this is all rotted out. Look at that. You can break this away with your hands. So this is an example of what a dead pine tree looks like when you're looking for pine with that one right here. Now this is, you can see it right here. That's punk wood right there. Just breaks up. That's really nice. Make charred material from that for your foot and steel kit. Here it is, and that's the whole tree here. It doesn't take long once you find it. Just gotta process it the best you can to get it out, to take it out of the woods with you. So this is my uh, project for today. And this is a nice piece of fat wood. It's got some weight to it. You can see the color. And this is something that I picked up along the way. I'm gonna chop right in the middle of this. There we are. It's gonna take another minute or two to have this 
water boiling, then I'll take it off and shut it down. Okay, welcome, welcome back, and uh, I'm finishing up on my tea, my little tea break here. So what I got, I have some knots. I'm going to start with the one I found on the way in. This doesn't have much weight, but I want to crack this bad boy right down the middle, and we're going to see what it has as far as fat wood. Toward the end of the video, I'm going to take this uh, log that I have here that you see that I'm touching, and I... I uh, ream two holes in it to give an example of a uh, a rocket stove so we're going to see if it works or not stay with me i'm going to split this right down the middle here Let's see if this thing is going to work or not okay i think i got the top view on that i got a really really cool knife i'm, I'm with today i got and we're going to see what this bad boy has. This is not fat wood. This is from uh, a cedar tree. You can see. And the aroma. It's really beautiful. This is a, a piece of cedar tree. But it's uh, cedar. Yeah, cedar wood. That's what this is. I'm going to chop it down a couple more times. I'm going to actually see if this thing could light up. Let's see if we can get this get some shavings and get a fire going with this. And it's fibrous, you can see. This fibrous wood. Wow. We'll see if this thing is going to take a spark or not. We will see. Oh, look at that. The way this thing cuts too, like butter. Look at that. that aroma it's really really smells really good all right I think I have enough just to see if it's going to take a spark or not okay there it is one strike and that is cedar wood from the cedar tree there it is one strike okay welcome back and this is the harvest I have okay this is a bat with the first fat piece I cut of the day and it was hollowed out but it still has serious uh, pine resin that's saturated in this little piece of wood here's another piece that I had I cut already so here is some beautiful little pieces that I just cut I'd like to show that to you and I'm gonna start cutting up some more of this uh, of this fat wood here. This is the piece that I'm interested right now in. And this looks like part of a wing system. It looks like this is what's feeding the tree. And this right here, right, all of this right here, as you see, is a wing. And I'm gonna cut right down the middle of it right now so we could have an idea what it's gonna look like in there. That's definitely, definitely fat wood. Look at that. Look at that. That's definitely fat wood. Look at this piece. That is one incredible piece. Let me see if I could just chop this down a little bit without using a hatchet right now. Oh, this is great. This is a beautiful piece here. Here we are. Look at that. That is a nice piece of fat wood. Let me see what else we have here that I can uh, chop into. Look at that. Wow. This is incredible. This is the wing. This, well, this is what I'm telling you. This is how incredible the wings are. Oh, man. This is definitely a keeper. Let's see if I could just cut that right out. Oh, yeah. Let's 
Yeah, that's what you call a curl shaving. That's what you call a curl shaving right there. Okay, get a few of these here. Before I even start getting the, the curl shavings to give you show you the power to burn, these two pieces are definitely going home. These three pieces are definitely going home with me. Yep. Now look how easy that those shavings come right off. Look at that. Look at that. Now that's serious fat with shavings right there. Just that little bit right there would help ignite the curl shavings. The fine shavings with curl shavings. All right, just a little more. And I'm going to take you, I'm going to show you a couple of these trees that I had told you that were completely rotted out. I want you to see that for yourself. I'm sure people have said, well, uh, if you would have dug into the tree a little bit, some of these trees are totally rotted out. There's nothing there. Okay, we're just going to, I'm going to do a little quick burn for you here. Let's see the power of the bird. Let's do this. Let's get this party started here. And that's the power of the bird. I had my cup of tea. There we are. That's it. Look how fast that goes up. That's what you call the power of the burn. This is what can save your life if you need a fire. You just got to be careful. And look at that. This is like over a minute, a couple of minutes here and it's still burning. That's just a few. This, this would last a long time if you just took a few shavings to get a fire started. This will last just about forever. Look at that all the way and this is definitely a uh, insect repellent look at that mosquitoes don't like this and all you gotta do is light one of these up like I'm doing now and get it to burn real good real good and you could see that the way it's sweating you can see that resin sweating on it this is an insect uh, repellent right here. Just wave it around yourself. Put it right where you're going to work. That's still burning. Here, I'll show you something. Else. insect repellent and all that black smoke these insects don't like it what we're going to do I'm going to take you along this tree you're looking at I'm going to take you to the top of it and to show you how everything is totally uh, decomposed it's just rotted out there's nothing in here there are plenty of trees in there you could hit and miss with a uh, batwood and you can see clearly by the bark that it's a batwood tree along the roots not a very big root system. Last year, I don't know, I, I don't know what happened. It looked like the root system was twice as big. Okay, so this is it. Going right along here, all the way down to the other side. I'm going to take you down and show you. So you can have an idea. I think it's easier to go this way. From the other side I just came from. And I'm going to show you here. This is toward the top of the tree, right here. And you can see just everything. This this, this tree is totally uh, decomposed. There's nothing here. There's nothing left. The knots, nothing. I'll show you this. You can pull this off by hand. Look at that. You can pull that off by hand. And this is how soft it is. Breaks up into nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Look. This breaks up to nothing. Now these are promising here. You can see it from coming from the trunk, the root, the stem. Let's show you that. Look at that. Nothing. So all this is good for is funky wood. It's soft. Look at that. From the whole tree itself. Okay, that's just to show you. There's nothing there. I'll put that back where I found it. 
that's it. Totally corroded. A lot of these trees in these woods here are totally corroded. There's nothing there. Look. Explodes into nothing. Look at that. That's it. There's many trees, so many trees like that here. Look at this. This is truly spooky. And all these trees are totally rotted out. I just showed you. They're rotted out. And you can see they're under a canopy of all these trees, so it doesn't get much sun. Look at that. That looks like that wood. This piece right here. Oh yeah, look at that. That is a one great barn. Look at that. Out of all these dead pieces of backwood. I don't have to show this. I don't want to keep the sun. Look at that. That is an awesome piece. I'm going to put this somewhere and hide it. Really, we don't have to hide it, but look at that. Look how beautiful that is. This is one solid piece. That's not breaking off anytime soon. That's going to be another project. And right here, in the center, where I'm pointing, that's part of a wing system. And that, to me, I love the wings that comes off of a uh, pine tree. Look at that. I'm going to leave this right here. Look at that. That is one beautiful piece. Oh, look at this one. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to pull them out of the ground, folks. Look at that. I just spoke a little too fast for myself about everything being totally rotted out. Not this here. Look at that. That is one awesome knot. Wow. Look at that. That is an amazing piece of wood. And my video is about over now. I got to get out the woods. It's getting late. I got to make my tracks home. That is it right there. I'm coming back. I know exactly where this is. I'm just going to lay this down just like that. Just going to lay it down. Oh, yeah. Not too close. Wanna, wanna make it seem obvious. That's good, just like that. I definitely will find it. And uh, see another one here. Wow! I can't believe what I'm coming into. Look at this. Oh my goodness! Now this is truly a graveyard. Look at that. I'm gonna get this out of the sun so you can see it better. I'm just gonna put them over here. Look at that. That's a piece of fat. You gotta recognize what they look like. That's what that's what a piece of fat would looks like. Old, decomposed, rotted. You can see the wing system sticking out here. The wing system. That's the wing system. These are the knots. Now that's a wing system right there. This whole flap. A lot of resin in that. I'm just gonna put that there. I think, I think I saw another one before I get out of these woods. I'm so excited about this. And here we go again with that spooky feeling. I'm going to feel down and look all around me because i got to start heading home now. Oh boy, it's getting late in the day. Look what I came across. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Look at that. This is incredible. This is just before I'm leaving. I didn't see this the other day. Look at this. Look at that. Now this is what you call the skeleton of a uh, pine tree. That's a skeleton right there. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. And there's one right there with those knots sticking up. I just want to get to it and take a look at it before I make my tracks out of here. That is truly an incredible find. Look at this. Look at that. Wow. Look at that knot coming out of the ground. Wow, look at that. This is more show and tell right here. Look at these knots. Boy, this will save your life if you out there looking for something like this. That's monster. Look at this. Look at that. This is awesome. Okay, folks. This, okay, folks. This is going to conclude my video. I'm going to have to make my tracks out of here. I already know where all this is. This is a small little find. A great find for me. I was just here the other day. I think I didn't look hard enough. I think we'll focus more on the trees. Uh, the fallen trees than all of this gold right here. Especially that one. That's beautiful. I'm not going to chop into any of this. This is going to be uh, another video. Including that. Look at that. Look at that. What a way to end the video. Right there. This is where I started my video. 
there's another resource you can always tap into if you're in the woods. But that's your fat wood for your fire. Okay, let's go home.